kick it off. Okay. And I will chime her in. So this is pretty cool. Um, this is called AstroPad, and the headline to this is uh, this app turns your iPad into a sketchboard for your Mac. You know, and you know, I'm I really like kind of looking into like ways I can integrate with Photoshop and everything. Um, and uh, this is basically their their subline here on the Verge is the AstroPad lets your iPad stand in for an expensive whack Wacom tab. Wacom Wacom. Wacom. I, Wacom is it officially? I don't know. I have this. Uh, Malengo uh, uses these things, mm-hmm. and, and we've had this conversation. It's the GIF GIF thing all yes. over with these guys, <laughs> and I've never heard a, any presentations to hear how they do them. Um, I'm still not used to the way Asus says their name. Asus, Asus, Ace. Asus, whatever. I like Asus myself. A-S-U-S. Anyways, that's not the point of this. Um, <laughs> so, so and they're actually showing here. They're using the iPad. It looks like alongside with um, Photoshop. From, I can tell in the picture here, uh, but it, it, it it's called Ostropad, and it, it uh, allows you to use your iPad as a sketchboard that transfers over to the Mac. Uh, that means you can load up Photoshop, grab a stylus, start drawing on your iPad while using all the tools. That's awesome. That's so I don't need to go get a Surface if I'm already on the Mac. Um, but uh, I was interested in. I was thinking about playing around with this because there is a seven day. I think there was a seven day demo before mm-hmm. you really have to pay for it. Um, the one thing that also impresses me is that yet another app from X Apple engineers. <laughs> so, Wait, isn't, uh, was duet or duet one of those other ones? Display was, and, and, and yeah, it's all, former Apple engineers. And it's all using that display driver too. Yeah. Like, like anybody you find, it's like a, a mirroring Apple mirroring thought reflect. Uh, was another mm-hmm. one I'm using, uh, reflector reflector. Yeah. I was just using that today to get the uh, footage for that, uh, game review mm-hmm. for all those adventure. Um, but Hey, if anybody knows the ins and outs of how that works, and that's probably the most complicated thing is to get that display to port over one way or another from my iPad to Mac or vice versa. Um, they would do it and do it said that told us on Twitter that they're going to do a windows version as well of that one. And that's the one because we're on that show. That's the one where if you attach your iPad or iPhone, it will, it, it can come up with the software in here as a second display. Um, I, I love it. I love being the person that plugs it in and I have two displays at the coffee shop, you know, when um, in the display in duet, doesn't it allow you to touch on the interface to it does. interact? It does. So, so touch on the screen does turn into a mouse kind of press, I think. A little bit it gets really funky i mostly just stick with the mouse effect because I, I usually throw like tweet deck over there and and they'll just start selecting things and mm-hmm. you know i forget i forget that tweet deck is on the <laughs> mac and not a tweet deck or hootsuite <laughs> on my ipad so i start doing touch motions and it just doesn't work but and the interesting so they they say this is powered by liquid what yeah so it's powered but they created this platform i guess you could call it they named Ooh. it liquid and it's a it's a new technology that they made, and it's a breakthrough network technology that allows better rendering performance over wireless. Huh. So unlike Duet, yeah. where you have to be tethered and it's wired, their the, technology says. And, and to be honest, I still feel a slight slight lag with it. But they're saying it, this is like a third of the speed. It's, it's, it renders three times faster, right? Mm. Yeah, than than AirPlay, which I can't. I, why isn't why doesn't Apple have this? Right. I guess it's because the engineers yeah. left. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they're saying sixty frames per second, GPU accelerated, color corrected to match the Mac, and it, it, it's all built into this liquid technology. ARM assembly code. So it's yeah. it's it's developed right for that iPad. The, the one thing I'm interested to is, and, and this is what I was going to get to, um, so the Air 2, which has the best GPU, the best CPU, blah, 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 fast, fast, fast. Apple redesigned the, the touch panel in the Air 2. Really? Which has caused every stylus manufacturer's devices to like not to, to pretty much not work properly. So obviously they had to build their SDKs. So if you're familiar with, and I've talked about like um, Android or however you pronounce it and paper, all their different styluses, especially the ones that are Bluetooth enabled, mm-hmm. um, all of those require the the person to create a, an SDK 
and B, then all the different companies that create an app has to build that SDK into their app. So obviously Bamboo, which is uh, Wacom's app, Bamboo Paper, yeah, um, it works with their, their stylus. Um, it doesn't work and function properly, at least from what I'm reading on the iPad Air 2. And I, I'm... I, and it actually caught me off guard because I went to pull out one of my Bluetooth styluses to take notes and it started skipping and it was giving me weird, like when I would write, like and lift my, lift the stylus off the, the panel, it would give this weird tail swoosh type thing huh. and it was skippy. Um, so I'm wondering how this, and, and they don't have anything on here that I see. Um, Maybe it's under support, but how well does it work with the Air 2? Hmm. Which if you're, and, and the reason I bring that up is because did you see the price point on the app? No, I didn't. <laughs> I, what, what, you're laughing. It's, it's, it's like 50 bucks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's for, uh, wow. from what I was reading and, and I'm trying to look at their, and this is, a, this is this is an interesting backdoor, and I think it. I think um, uh, Duet does this too, where you don't buy the app, you buy the software that goes on your computer. Yeah. Now they can do things like control. They don't give the cut to Apple, um, and I'm pretty sure this probably is. And they're usually more often than not not through the App Store, even on the Mac. Yeah. Um, so it's forty yeah forty nine ninety nine to buy, or you can get a student educational discount. Wow, for I think tw- it's I think it's nineteen ninety nine, which even at the nineteen ninety nine is like almost twice the price. Yeah, I thought I. something was up when you said there was like a seven day trial. I'm like, wait, <laughs> what? What are you trialing? And if it's an app because of the way they do it. Yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think of of, uh, of this real quick? This makes me think that it should be a, a Microsoft service commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, yeah, on that kind of like the future, right? You guys were talking about Black Mirror earlier. That was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> right. Exactly. All right. Well, on that note, um, got to roll out of here so the guys can talk about video games. Uh, mm-hmm. Once again, uh, and I don't think a lot of the real stories, events coming up here in the area. Um, I, I don't have anything on my calendar, Chill. I don't know if you're aware of next anything. for. Is it, I think we'll have it for next. Tuesday. Next Tuesday is the third. Yes, um, we will have more information on the Samsung Galaxy S six, which Ooh. will. And next week is the World Mobility Ooh. Conference. So we'll have a lot of phone in news. Barcelona. That's that's usually where like most of the non Apple big phone news mm-hmm. tends to come from these days. So, and yeah. Microsoft did their own. Well, maybe Microsoft will announce because they haven't announced their next line of. Of actual phones. I think high-end phones. Um, didn't they quietly release Windows 10 recently? Preview. For phone? It's and a preview I, I, for the phone. It's interesting. Preview. Yeah, so it's a preview of the OS for the phone. And they, they're they releasing by model. Yeah. And they're releasing to the low-end models first. That's weird. So instead of going high-end, they're like, okay, let's make sure That's that every, <laughs> everything works on the low-end phones to make sure like everything speedy and it, it okay works well okay and and get those people it's on like, those it's old, like let's beta phones. this on the iphone 4s before we move up but it's like they like i was looking like one of the one of the main devices is like the 40 dollar at&t go phone that's like oh, wow. the the nokia so if you want to test this out <laughs> yeah you have it's really easy and cost effective if you want to if go test out play around a, a Windows phone and the new Windows phone. That's that's it's way better than the day when they uh, cut off everybody at the knees that bought like the first version of the mm-hmm. Windows phone. It's like yeah, you're not upgrading the next one. Um, if you were like a point <laughs> off, they were they were like like I think it was like so if you have seven if you had a seven point one phone, you could have updated to eight or something like that. No, I think it was you could if you had a s- seven. If your if your phone came with seven one, it wasn't upgradable or something. And then yeah. if you were on seven five, it went to seven eight. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, Cross would know. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> he screamed, had one of those. He's screaming phones. at us. One. Oh, he had one that didn't. <laughs> he had he had none of the seven line could go to eight because right. they changed the chip right around in there. Right. But he his actually I think went went to seven eight 
something that didn't change from the old Windows Mobile days mm-hmm. when we were on the version fives and stuff. So we had a couple of those pocket was PC, just pocket PC, right there, the compact behind me. I was showing that on Instagram today. <laughs> uh, people were going nuts for it because there is a oh, what do they call out? Yes, there is a Palm Pilot on top of an NES system back here, <laughs> next to a Tiger electronic pinball. So I have a I have a Palm Tungsten T 